Imagine being a step away from the throne, a breath away from power, and then, within a blink, you're facing your own demise. This is the tale of Adonijah, son of King David and brother to King Solomon. Adonijah, born of royalty, raised amidst grandeur, was no ordinary man. He was the son of King David, the ruler of Israel, and the brother of Solomon, the wise king. His life was one of luxury, privilege, and profound potential, but with royal lineage came royal ambitions, and for Adonijah, that ambition was the throne, the symbol of ultimate power. Just like the vast deserts of Israel, Adonijah's life was a landscape of contrasts. On one hand, he was the son of a revered king. On the other, he was a brother to a man who would become one of the greatest rulers in history. But Adonijah was not content playing second fiddle. He yearned for more. He desired the throne, the authority, the respect that came with it. This longing for power ignited a spark of rivalry between Adonijah and his younger brother, Solomon. Two brothers, both sons of a king, yet their destinies were as different as day and night. Solomon was chosen by their father, King David, to succeed him. But Adonijah, the older brother, felt the throne was his by right. This belief fueled his ambition, and he was determined to claim what he thought was rightfully his. Just as the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, the stage was set for a conflict that would shake the very foundations of the kingdom. A clash that would pit brother against brother, blood against blood. A struggle for power that would engulf the royal palace in a storm of intrigue, deception, and betrayal. But as we all know, power has a price, and for Adonijah the cost was far greater than he could ever imagine. Adonijah, in his quest for power, tried to overthrow the kingdom. He was not destined for the throne, yet he dared to challenge fate. Let's delve into the labyrinth of intrigue and ambition that marked Adonijah's life. As the fourth son of King David, he was not the natural successor to the throne. Yet he was not one to be constrained by birth order or tradition. Adonijah was a man of cunning, audacity and unbridled ambition. His first move was to forge strategic alliances. He sought the support of Joab, the commander of David's army, a man who held considerable sway over the kingdom's military might. He also won over Abiathar the priest, a key religious figure, which gave his claim a semblance of divine approval. Adonijah's cunning was evident in his careful choice of allies. He chose individuals who held significant influence, who could bolster his claim and provide both military and spiritual backing. He was playing a dangerous game, a game of thrones, if you will, that could either make him king or cost him his life. His audacity was undeniable. Adonijah declared himself king while his father, King David, was still alive. This was not just a bold move, but a direct challenge to the established order. It was a clear message to all. Adonijah was willing to risk everything for the throne. But in this grand scheme of power, there was one person Adonijah overlooked, Solomon. Solomon, the son of David and Bathsheba, was the one chosen by David to succeed him. Adonijah, in his haste and ambition, failed to consider this crucial detail. But destiny has a way of correcting its course. And in Adonijah's case, it was King Solomon who would become the instrument of this cosmic justice. The stage was set for a clash of wills, a battle for the throne. The kingdom of Israel was about to witness an epic power play, one that would shape its destiny for years to come. King Solomon, the wise and just ruler, stood firm against his brother's rebellion, embodying the resolve of a true king. The throne was not a prize to be claimed by force or cunning, but a sacred trust, a calling to serve the people with integrity and fairness. As news of Adonijah's rebellion reached Solomon, it did not stir panic or anger, but a calm determination. It was a test of his leadership, a challenge he would meet with the wisdom that was his hallmark. In the face of Adonijah's audacious power play, Solomon did not resort to brute force. Instead, he employed a strategy steeped in wisdom and strategic foresight. He sought counsel from trusted advisers, marshaled his allies, and prepared to confront his brother not with a sword, but with the undeniable strength of his claim to the throne. Yet, Solomon's response was not solely strategic. It was guided by a deep sense of justice. This was not about personal power or family rivalry. 
This was about the welfare of a kingdom, the continuity of a legacy, and the upholding of a divine mandate. Solomon's commitment to justice was unyielding. He would not allow the kingdom to be wrested away by a usurper, even if that usurper was his own brother. His wisdom, his strategic acumen, his commitment to justice, all converged to form an unassailable defense against Adonijah's rebellion. Solomon stood as a bulwark against his brother's ambition, a steadfast protector of the kingdom's peace and prosperity. But Solomon's wisdom also carried a stern warning. Adonijah's ambition, unchecked and untempered by wisdom or respect for the divine order, would lead to his downfall. Solomon's justice, while firm, was not ruthless. He offered Adonijah a chance to repent, to turn away from his destructive path. And with this, Adonijah found himself facing not just the loss of a throne, but the prospect of his own end. His ambitions had led him to the precipice of disaster, a fall from which there would be no return. The story of Adonijah serves as a stark reminder that ambition, when not guided by wisdom and justice, can lead to one's undoing. In the end, Adonijah paid the ultimate price for his ambition. His life served as a cautionary tale for all who dare to defy destiny. Adonijah, the son of King David, brother to King Solomon, was a man of great ambition. He envisioned himself as the rightful heir to the throne, and with this vision he was willing to gamble everything, even his very life. But ambition, when not tempered with wisdom and humility, can lead to one's downfall. Adonijah's ambition blinded him to the reality of his situation. He saw only the throne, the power, the prestige, and not the responsibilities that came with it. He was so consumed by his desire for power that he failed to see the divine mandate that had been bestowed upon his brother Solomon. He defied destiny, defied the divine order of things, and in doing so, he set himself on a path of self-destruction. The throne that he so desperately coveted became his doom. His ambition turned into a fatal flaw, leading him to his tragic end. But what lessons can we draw from Adonijah's story? His life serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked ambition. It teaches us that power, when pursued for its own sake, can lead to ruin. It shows us the perils of defying one's destiny, of trying to alter the course that has been set before us. Adonijah's tale is a testament to the fact that our destinies are not ours to control, but rather they are divine mandates that we are called to fulfill. We are not meant to defy them, but to embrace them, to work within them, and to make the best of what we have been given. Adonijah's story is a mirror, reflecting back to us the consequences of our actions, the price we may have to pay when we let our ambitions cloud our judgment. And so Adonijah's tale ends, a stark reminder that power is not to be taken lightly and destiny not to be trifled with. In contrast to Adonijah, King Solomon's reign is remembered for its wisdom, justice and prosperity. Indeed, the legacy of Solomon is a rich tapestry woven with threads of wisdom and enlightenment. His reign, unlike his brother's short-lived ambition, was marked by tranquility, prosperity and a deep sense of justice. King Solomon's wisdom was not a mere accumulation of knowledge or a display of intellectual prowess. It was a profound understanding of life, a deep discernment of what is right, and an unwavering commitment to uphold justice. His wisdom was not confined to the walls of his palace, but echoed throughout his kingdom, resonating in the hearts of his subjects and shaping the course of his reign. The prosperity of Solomon's reign was not just about material wealth. It was about the prosperity of the soul the flourishing of culture and the blossoming of human potential. Under his wise leadership, his kingdom thrived, not merely surviving, but truly living, growing and prospering in every sense of the word. Now, let's consider the stark contrast between the fates of the two brothers. Adonijah, driven by reckless ambition, attempted to seize the throne only to meet a tragic end. On the other hand, Solomon, guided by wisdom and justice, led his kingdom to an era of peace and prosperity. The contrast couldn't be more striking. This brings us to the heart of our exploration, the enduring message of this tale. It's a message about the triumph of wisdom over folly, of justice over ambition, of enlightened leadership over reckless power play. 
It's a message that echoes through the corridors of time, reverberating in our hearts and minds, inspiring us to choose wisdom, to uphold justice, and to lead with integrity. And so we are left with a timeless lesson that wisdom and justice prevail over reckless ambition. This is the enduring legacy of King Solomon, a beacon of hope and inspiration for us all.